No, no. We want an explanation. You say, what was that sign? Not a lecture. No. A simple. I don't want to interrupt it, okay? Because I want the truth to come out. And I thought Mr. Mr. Josh McDowell had explained this to you. And most Muslims don't know. No, please, 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 please. My dear brother, please. Look, a simple. Look, look, look. Your, your eye, brother, brother, please listen to me. Listen to me. Look, there was a gentleman, straightforward answer. There was another gentleman, straightforward answer. Now, you bringing, sh wait, 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 listen to me now. You talking about Josh McDowell. Do these people know about Josh McDowell, what you're talking about? So, the scripture, I quoted you the verse, and he said, he said, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. I said, Jesus said, my sign is the sign of Jonah. What happened to Jonah is my miracle. His miracle is my miracle. I'm asking, what was that sign? Okay, I shall read it to you again, Mr. Digger. You don't have to read it to me. I know your whole Bible upside down. Please, my brothers and sisters, no, no, we don't want this, we don't want this. You see, for 40 years, 40 years, I have been asking learned men of Christianity, what was that sign? And I have had no answer. No Christian can tell you what was that sign. Please, it's enough. What was that sign? I said, you see, very easy, very easy. You have to go to the book of Jonah. The sign of Jonah, you have to go to the book of Jonah. But it's a bit difficult. You see, the book of Jonah in the Bible is only one page. In a thousand pages to find that one page is difficult. You know, to look for that one page in a thousand pages, it is difficult. But you don't have to go there. If you went to Sunday school, little children, they know the story of Jonah, Jonah and the way. Everybody knows, the Jewish child knows, the Christian child knows, the Muslim child knows. Everybody knows Jonah and the way. In the book of Jonah, we read that God Almighty sends Jonah to the Ninevites, a city called Nineveh, a city of 100,000 people in those days, like a great metropolis, like New York or London in those days. So God Almighty commands Jonah, I said, you go to Nineveh and warn the people there to repent in sackcloth and in ashes. Humble themselves before the Lord or I will destroy them. Jonah, instead of going to Nineveh, he's despondent that these materialistic people, the evil and adulterous generation of his, of his time, same like in the time of Jesus is talking to his evil and adulterous generation, Jesus, the evil and adulterous generation of the time of Jonah. He said, that, that weak, evil people, they will not listen to me. They'll make a mockery of me. So instead of going to Nineveh, he goes to Joppa. It's modern Jaffa in Israel. Jaffa. Modern Jaffa. And he takes a boat and is running away. At sea there's a storm. And the storm is not subsiding. And according to the superstition of the mariners, that anybody runs away from his master's command, he creates such a turmoil at sea. So they began to question, who can be responsible for this? Jonah realizes that he is the guilty man. Because God Almighty told him to go to Nineveh, and as a prophet of God, is a soldier of God. He must listen to whatever God tells him. He has no right to be presumptuous. So he's running away. He's running away from his master's job. So he volunteers. He says, look, I'm the guilty man. I'm running away from master's command. And God wants to kill me. And in the process, he's going to sink the boat to kill me. But you innocent people will die. It is better for you that you take me and you throw me overboard. God is after my blood and he'll be satisfied. You people will be safe. 
These mariners also a fantastic group of people. They say, no, 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 no. Since you entered the boat, we have seen you ever prayerful. Maybe he had that rosary, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, he's ever devoted to God. While he was in the boat, he said, no, no, no. You are a good man, you are a godly person. We can't imagine you being guilty of such a crime. We have our own system of discovering right or wrong. And that is called a system of casting lots. It's like tossing the coin, head or tail, head or tail. So according to that system, they discovered that Jonah was the guilty man. So they, so they took him and they threw him overboard. The book of Jonah. Take two minutes to read, but you don't have... This is everybody, every child knows this, every Christian knows this. So they threw him overboard and the storm subsided. Perhaps it was a coincidence, but the storm subsided. I'm asking the question, when they threw Jonah into the sea, was he dead or was he alive? Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, I know sometimes when if you said he was not alive and make you to change, it would have been difficult. So I would have said, look, if you, before you answered it, I, I would say, look, I want to make things easy for you to get the right answer. Because once you get the wrong answer, I have to move heaven and earth to make you to change the position. You know, to convince you that you were wrong. So I would have made things easy for you to get the right answer by telling you that, look, Jonah volunteered. He volunteered. He says, throw me. And a man who volunteers, you don't have to strangle him before throwing. You don't have to break his arm or limb before throwing. No, no, the man volunteers, throw me. Why you want to kill him? Why you want to break his jaw? Nothing. So then I would have asked you, was he dead or was he alive? And unanimous, 100% you would have shouted, alive! Because well, so the man volunteered. The one who volunteers, you don't, you don't have to maltreat him. Do you? So, no. so he was alive. Right answer. Right answer. Any child would have answered that. The fish comes and gobbles him. Dead or alive? Alive! Let me hear again from you all. Alive! Yes, yes. From the fish's belly, he prays to God for help. Do dead people pray? Do dead people 